What's going on, Sleep Judge? I'm Jonathan Wilson, and this is my Stay to Sleep video. Hope you enjoy it. Wouldn't you love to wake up every day with the sun, feeling rejuvenated and stronger? Well, while maintaining a good, healthy, well-rounded diet and exercising regularly will help you achieve this, so can getting a good night's sleep every night. This isn't as easy as said although, because for better or for worse, there are some indisputable ways our brains have been rewired by technology. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all the other social medias that people, especially teens like myself, use so much of today, have been the culprits of late night phone and computer use. These aren't the only things contributing to sleep loss though. It's the actual lights that will be coming off of the screens at night. There is a glow that is emitted from the screens called blue light. This light has a certain frequency that hits the receptors in people's eyes, signaling the brain to hold off the melatonin production, therefore keeping them awake. Professor David Hillman, chair of Australia's Sleep Health Foundation, said that between 2010 and 2016, there was a significant increase in the complaints of inadequate sleep amongst the 18 to 24 year olds, with 60% of this group now affected, myself included. Whether it is because of social media, homework, or household responsibilities, people just aren't getting enough sleep. Sleep deprivation really takes a devastating toll on the body and mind of a teenager. Our memory isn't great, and neither is our attention span. I believe this is so because any scrap of information needed to us is instantly at our fingertips, so we don't bother retaining the facts. During the adolescence years, sleep is detrimental. Technology used in the evenings may make it harder to drop off to sleep and can also reduce the quality of sleep and make you feel even sleepier the next day. Over 90% of American high schoolers are lacking the proper amount of sleep needed to function to the full extent of their abilities. Technology isn't completely terrible to sleep, however. Tech has made it possible for you to track your sleep through apps, lower or alter the blue light that is emitted from your device, find soothing music to help you doze off, and you can learn more about sleep on the internet. The Sleep Judge website, for instance, has a lot of helpful information on how you can better your sleep. For instance, it tells you how the area in which you sleep affects your sleep and how your sleeping posture could be ruining your sleep. This is Thomas, one of my best friends. Thomas has narcolepsy, which is a neurological disorder that affects the control of sleep and wakefulness. People with narcolepsy, like Thomas, experience excessive daytime sleepiness and uncontrollable episodes of falling asleep during the daytime. These sudden sleep attacks may occur during any type of activity at any time of the day. Technology has benefited sleep in this case where research is now able to help people like my friend Thomas. I am definitely not a morning person. I suffer from all the misfortunes of tech and sleep that I discussed about. Can you blame me though? Teenagers like me love to stay engaged with other teens and are especially fearful of missing out on pretty much anything. Sleep physician Dr. Chris Seaton said that the screens not only take away sleep because they take up time, but they make kids more wakeful and the more wakeful they are, the more activity they do. So it's a vicious cycle. I guess it could be said that I'm kind of a tea addict. So what I've done is I've invested into caffeine free tea since I was cutting caffeine from about four to six hours before my bedtime to make sure I'm able to sleep it well. Now that I've adapted to my new nightly ritual and I've stuck to it, I've been able to get to bed earlier every night, which means more sleep for me. 
So thank you, Sleep Judge, for teaching me so much about sleep. Now time to go get some. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sleep Judge, for the opportunity. I hope you enjoyed the video. And shout out to my mom for helping me record. Thanks, mom. Press the button. This same one? The other. Yeah. You got the one? Yes.